Hey, welcome back. Work is continuing on the bus. Now, New York says you cannot leave your bus yellow. So we're experimenting with some vinyl wrap. I bought a little sheet of it and tried doing some small sections of it. So eventually I want to do, you know, the fenders, the hood, the little side panel. And the stuff up top, we're resorting to Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. We're just brushing it on. We got one little section done when the weather is good and we're going to continue uh, on kind of cloudy days where we're not baking in the sun and the paint doesn't dry too quickly. New York State says you can't have a motorized stop sign on your bus, but they didn't say I can't use it for something else. When you get to your destination, you have a built-in table. drink got this one little strip of yellow in between there is no way in how long I'm gonna paint that white so just paint it black have it blend in see how my pinstriping hand goes Oh, the yellow disappeared quick and easy trying to mask it off and put white in there would have been crazy some areas are a little hard to reach all right we're all covered on the front a little area below there, above the windshield, I did in black just for the fact I didn't want to have to mask off a little area. So a little black paint in there made everything disappear. So I'm going to keep working our way around this thing, one little section at a time. You got the piece above the windows. Now my daughter is going to do everything down low. That's what she said. So it's going to be custom mural painted on the side of this thing trying my hand at vinyl wrapping well kudos to those guys that do it all the time because this is tough so, having mixed results here it's not bad i'm happy with it but it takes a lot of uh, work is it easier to paint no i think vinyl wrap is the way to go just need to get really good at it well i decided to do a little spray painting getting in these hinges with a brush or a roller would just be incredibly uh, difficult and probably very sloppy looking. So we degreased all this, scuffed it down with a scuff pad, masked it all off, and we're gonna shoot it with a spray can white. One coat, and that covers really well. Let it set up a little bit and hit it one other time and that should be good. All right, that worked out well. The bottom is probably gonna be blue. Gotta wait to see what my daughter comes up with for her uh, scheme on the sides of this thing. Okay, between the window bars going up and down, we're gonna hit them with gloss black to make them kind of blend in with the tinted glass rather than trying to paint them white. Quick and easy. All done. That gave it a nice sleek look. Looks like one giant big window now. Nice. more wrapping my eyes are getting burned out doing this in the sun i should have waited until later in the day but gotta get things done all right the last piece i'm doing fender i'm getting good at it now but that's the last thing i gotta do okay all the vinyl wrapping is done we are going to work on the bus body now we're going to degrease it and sand it 
Got to sand down a few spots here and there where the paint's a little flaky and a couple little rust bubbles, nothing much. Then we're going to prime the rest of this with a roller and then my daughter is going to get to work painting what she wants on the side. Is this thing on? How do you pour from a gallon jug or can into a paint tray without making a huge mess? One of my old bosses taught me this trick. Tape. Gotta double it up. Primer all dried. Now we put one coat of gloss on top of that. It's going to be a nice big uh, blank canvas for my uh, daughter to put her artwork on. So we're going to cover the side and the back with something of her design. You will see. And this is the color that my daughter picked out. Ooh. Wow, my hand looks weird. Oh, that's her hand. You like it? Yeah. All right, good. I had a little bird fly in my garage and land on my Firebird. What are you doing in here? Come on. Well, he ain't moving. 